So Logpoint retrieves this data. Now, it's very important to understand that some devices are willing to send that information. Other devices, we need to go and collect the information. So there is a difference between a fetcher and a collector. Let's jump right into this. We'll jump right into our configuration. In our configuration, quickest way to look at this is to click on our devices. Go to devices. We have various devices inside here. Let's pick up uh, we'll pick up a Windows Server one here for, as an example. So in Windows Server, when I just click on this Windows Server, it gives me some basic information around this, any log collection policies, anything specifics around that. But what, what we really care about on this Windows Server is to have a look at or add a collector fetcher. So here, for example, on this device, on this Windows Server, we are leveraging a syslog collector. So, so the device makes the logs available to us and we collect them. So that's what a collector is. It makes it available. Syslog is very common with this, in which case here you can see I've got um, my parser is using syslog. So we know the format. It's one of the RFCs. I forget the numbers. One of the two RFCs. It is a processing policy that gets applicable to that, meaning we know it's a Windows machine. So we know which character set to use and things like that. So that's a, that's a collector. So we go and collect the information. If you have something like a SIFS fetcher, so a common internet file sharing standard fetcher, this is on a SIF server. There is no syslog. They do not make the logs available. We need to go and log on to that device and go and query and say, give me the logs. So here I've now got space for a username and a password. The remote paths I need to specify. Where are these logs that we need to go and grab? What security mode? Any domain information to log on? And then what? how do I want to parse this information once I'm retrieving it? So I can apply a various sort of parser. You remember from earlier, I've got my ZZ test parser. We can apply a specific parser to this. And then potentially we'd like to do some post-processing to this as well. Okay, so that is how we both go and either collect or fetch information for a device. Now, the device can be, um, if we take a look at here, we've got, uh, we've got an actual Oracle fetcher, right? So here I've got a syslog collector and an Oracle fetcher. So this is the difference between me going to collect it or it making it available to me so that I can go and pick it up. It does depend on the situation, but these can be leveraged using some type of an API. Um, you saw in my previous sample where we rewrote the parser, or it can be where we just go and log on and retrieve data back at a predefined interval. It is important to understand in this situation that here at Logpoint, we do have distributed collectors. So our customers have, uh, they have some on-prem devices, they have some, some, some devices in a different data center and some devices in the cloud. We may recommend based on traffic ingestion, just to say, let's put in a collector in each location so that it's responsible for retrieving those events, normalizing it, enriching it, sorting it out, and then sending it back to Logpoint. So we are looking just at the pertinent information. We don't have to process that all and traverse sort of longer sort of um, actual distances to get that data in. <music>